Hello and welcome back to Sonic Adventure 2 Battle. We've beaten the hero story, so it's time to jump into the other side of this tale. Team Dark. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Intruder alert. Security, Security breach, breach at gate 3. three. Intruder, Intruder has been located, located in the north quadrant and, and is moving, moving in the direction of the underground base. base. All, All units prepare to engage. Emergency battle formation. formation. Standard, Standard battle, battle procedures initiated. Rotate and stop. Intruder is entering the area. This is not a drill. 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 Working on a top secret military weapon. Could the military shut down the research because they fear me? Right, so we, are we starting off with Eggman? Oh, that's interesting because Shadow is like the main character for this mode. You would think, but Shadow was originally not planned to be playable. All right, so I'm going to be the only character in this mode I'm going to be playing is Eggman because Michael only played Tails, so he's going to be playing Shadow and Rouge. Indeed. You just hold the B button to lock on. Yep. Pretty simple gameplay loop. This looks exactly like the prison level you do with Tails. Uh, is that because it is? Oh, oh! Got him. Uh, I, I don't know if it's exactly the same, but there's a lot of repurposed assets. Because, um, like, again, they... I don't know if you can get that without a jetpack. Oh... Um, do you know who I am? I am the Eggman. So if you if you keep tapping B, you'll shoot at a different type of shot. And, um, yeah, that breaks boxes. Yo! <laughs> what do I... You're gonna go onto that platform. Oh, I didn't... I thought it was still locked. <laughs> Why is it... Yo! But I think this is the first time they actually let you play Eggman. Which I always appreciate when they let you play as longtime villains in games. Yo! I can't believe this! I wish he still said that. <laughs> yeah. He's certainly the most quotable Sonic character. Yo! Okay, so this is a lot different than Tails' prison level. But... Yeah, a lot of times they, uh... The, they took the the levels made for the three planned characters and kind of expanded it out to other ones, which I think they did a pretty good job of, because this two story modes are still distinct enough, even though you're going to the same places. And I'll never argue with having more playable characters. Really, Donkey Kong 64? <laughs> yeah, I mean I'm fine with it. Uh, I think it's great that they have so many characters. What's you know, not great is what you do with them. So, I mean, yeah. if they made you play through the exact same levels with every character to, like, beat it, then that'd be more of a problem. Which is kind of what Sonic Heroes does. Which I don't like as much, but... I don't know. I still like Sonic yeah, see, Heroes. Sometimes I like the focus to be narrowed. Sometimes games have too many characters that aren't fun to play, and so then it's like... You know, kind of like, even though we love Sonic Adventure, it's kind of like Big. And I love Big, but his story mode wasn't, you know, it was, uh, hard. <laughs> the old fisherman. Yeah, I think there's a way to do that and a way not to. Right, exactly. Um, and, yeah, it, it seems like they missed the mark with that one. But, you know, sometimes it's, it's fun to have, like, little mini games, games within games. There's a rocket. Ooh. Oh, now what? you fire the rock. What? Nice. Yes. <laughs> yes. 
All right, now I got the chow key because you all are in for a treat. Oh. This is uh, obviously the best part of this game. Not only do you get to play Eggman, but you get to play him outside of his mech. <laughs> that boy I fast. just I just that can't, boy is fast. I just it just cracks me up how fast he is. <laughs> yeah, the uh the funniest part is where people have modded Eggman into other levels. Where's your chow? Uh it's the white one. Also, it's great to see the this like compassionate side of him, petting Chow and stuff. Yeah, I grew a unibrow, as all gorillas do, and gorilla ears. Yo, yo, yo. This is the military's top secret weapon. It's a lot smaller than I expected. Enter user data. Uh -huh. Enter password. Password is Maria. Maria. Now all I have to do is to place the Chaos Emerald into this console. Alright, so now I will be taking the reins of Shadow. We've got uh, sort of a same kind of boss that Sonic was fighting up against. Oh, I hit him! I intercepted him! My boy! My boy! Intercepted! What did that did to <laughs> You gotta look out, my boy! Whoop. I need these precious boxes to stay in the game. <laughs> That's what we call meeting it head on. No. No, don't don't break my boxes. Oh no. Oh no. Now, yeah, that's what was happening to me. When you were like, "Hey, watch out for the rockets." <laughs> They're kind of hard to dodge. Man, I wish the Sonic one had a charging move like that. That's just... Yeah, where he hovers Please hit me. <laughs> well, normally you're supposed to just supposed to dodge it, but I don't know. I don't know if they meant for you to be able to do that or not. So, Shadow, you are the military's top secret weapon. But what did you mean when you said you will grant me a wish? Bring more Chaos Emeralds. Shadow, wait! I'll be waiting for you in the central control room on the Space Colony Ark. Ark! Just let it go! You 
just don't know when to give up, do you? What are you talking about? That emerald's mine. You got that? The Master Emerald contains special powers that neutralize the energy of the Chaos Emeralds. That makes it very powerful. What the? What? Listen's calling who at me? I came here following the signal from the Emerald. If I'm not mistaken, this is the Master Emerald, is it not? Dr. Eggman. So that's Dr. Eggman. Well, I guess I can use it for something. I'll just take it with me. Farewell, Knucklehead. Not if I can help it. I did that to prevent the Master Emerald from being stolen, you idiot. If it's in pieces, I can restore it. And by the way, that's not your Emerald. Get into it once I get back to the base. Sorry, Dr. Eggman. Sorry, Dr. Eggman. Yeah, we'll see about that, Batgirl. Dry Lagoon. We're in Rouge's first level in, I think this is actually a different one. Yeah, same kind of assets, but uh, we found a much more lush part to explore as opposed to Knuckles. Hey, get away from that sea turtle. Oh. <coughs> That's I think he cool. can take me to different parts of the level. But our first clue, outside a jail cell. So it's time to go to jail. This game has a lot of prisons. <laughs> a lot of things to escape from. Can you dig already? I don't think so. Nope. Alright, well let's see if we need to go to this area. Oh, look at that! Ah, there we go. This is... <clears throat> it's weird. It's like... It's a lot like that desert level, but like with a different skin on it. Do you notice that? Yeah. It's got the same layout. Interesting. I kind of I like this one a lot though. Oh yeah. Oh, what is that? It's oh. an otter. Mr. Otter. <laughs> a coconut? His uh, coconut gun. <laughs> a coconut gun? Oh, do I do I not get any more hints? That's the thing about the monitors. Near a leaf. <clears throat> is they have to like come back near a leaf. There's leaves like everywhere in this level. Small palm tree near the small oasis? Is that what that said? I think so. There's kind of like two stages within this one. You have to bounce between them. All right. Yeah, this is probably the small oasis. Palm trees. There's a palm tree to the right. Yeah. Okay, so it's not that one. Just going to try and get some height. I can't it's climb that, on the it's tree that palm itself. tree. It's yeah. no, no, no. I think I just saw it. Yeah, it's definitely there, but I need to get higher. I thought it was below, is what I was saying. Oh, there it is. There we go. It's it was like a coconut. That's what the question mark was for. Yeah. His <laughs> coconut, coconut gun. gun. There was a monitor. Oh. A red flower in the water? Mayhaps? Ah, there's a red flower. Sort of? I don't know. Alright, there's a couple of other bodies of water to explore. 
could be in one of those. Ah. Oh, but there's an otter, even better. There it is. That's a fancy way of uh, calling something a flower. But I suppose. Not too bad, I guess. Those idiots will never find my hidden base inside this pyramid. <laughs> Let's take care of business here first, then get inside. So why is Eggman fighting his robots? These are the same robots we fought in. <laughs> what happened to my momentum? It just like stopped. It's kind of weird with the walkers, I, I have to say. They get a lot more manageable when you get the boosters. Yo. Oh yeah, it's like anytime you turn slightly, it just kind of stops. Yeah, it's a little strange. But to it, answer your earlier question, he's not fighting his robots. Eggman's robots, I don't think you ever fight in this game. These these ones are the military. Yeah. Oh yeah, it's not about rings. I was only trying to fight them still because I thought I needed rings. Well, now you do. <laughs> well, I don't get it. Is do the rings give you health? Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh man. Darn. This mode seems a lot harder than the other one. I guess they probably designed it like that. Than the other one? Tails, you mean? Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. And uh, Rouge's first stage was harder than Knuckles. There's like water and two areas that you have to explore. They probably just figure you played the game by then. Yeah, they figure you probably played Sonic first. Yeah, I mean... Who's not going to play the main character's mode first in a game? Seems kind of weird if you ask me. Shadow fans, I guess. Yeah, this was his first game, so he probably didn't have any fans. Yeah. That is true. But man, do they make you wait to, to play him. So many areas that you can fall off in. There was like, there looks like there's like a secret area somewhere. You see that? Uh, I think that w that was the secret area and the egg, the, the exit of it. No! Thought you were supposed to like just get a running start. <laughs> My boy is dangerous. Oh man, what is this? What is this, Zelda? 
breaking all these pots. <laughs> Doesn't seem like for any purpose, though. I don't There's know. There's rings in there. You're going the right way, though. Okay. I wasn't sure. Oh, that was close. Yeah. Oh, I wanted to go for it. Oh. That's cool. I like how they use speed boosts and stuff in Eggman's campaign. Ooh, wait a second. Can I get up here? I don't know. You can look around for anything to jump on top of. <laughs> oh, look there you go. Look around. Yeah, I don't think you can... Definitely looks like an alternate path, though. Uh, you jump to the left, or go to the end of it. Like keep walking to uh, forward, the other way. Huh? Keep walking down that pillar. This one? Yeah. Oh, I didn't... I guess I didn't see that. There we go. Yosh! <laughs> Yosh! I think that was pretty excellent. With the Chaos Emerald in the Space Colony Ark, hmm, I've got to find out just what's going on up there. We interrupt this broadcast for an important news flash. There has been a break-in at the Federal Reserve Bank today. Mysteriously, the only thing that was chaos stolen emerald? was the Chaos Emerald. According to eyewitnesses at the scene, the suspect was identified as the world-renowned hero, Sonic the Hedgehog. The suspect was seen fleeing the scene, destroying the reserve's guard robots in his path. Stay tuned Sounds for more, more details. Like the work of Shadow. <laughs> How pathetic. Find them before they escape! All right, finally, we're in Shadow's first mission, Radical Highway. This was the stage that was used in Sonic Generations on the 3DS. Uh, as City Escape was 
the one used for the console version. So Shadow does not run. He's got these uh, cool skates. Yeah, that's why I'm saying I think, I think he's he's not as fast as Sonic then. I, I think what everyone needs to do is just get a pair of Shadow's shoes. Yeah, I don't know. I think the the sort of lore behind him is that he was designed to be like Sonic. And Sonic's got some sort of, like, magical power. I think that's, uh... That's Sonic is Mew and Shadow is Mew 2. Essentially. <laughs> it's actually a pretty good analogy. <laughs> right? Isn't Mew 2 meant to be, like, the ultimate Pokemon? Yeah. But he starts with a really strong level. I actually really like this one. Well, there you go. Oh! Trying to go through the fire and the flames. Oop. <laughs> <laughs> need a ring, man. I don't need a ring. I'm the, I'm ultimate, the ultimate life, life form. form. <laughs> Let's try that again. Yeah! There we go. Because I just despise that other part. <laughs> I keep thinking I have the light dash, but I don't. <laughs> There's a blimp that says Got Rings. Yeah, it's pretty great. Like the old Got Milk ads that don't exist anymore. <laughs> Man, imagine Shadow if he roller skate. He'd be a beast. <laughs> no! I'm so bad at those. You just have to hit it when it's red. Yeah, I know. I'm just so bad at it. <laughs> Man, whatever. I'm just jumping over here. <laughs> Do it. Yeah! Oh, whoa, whoa, rings! My boy. I know what I'm doing. See, I really like the little intricacies of this level. There's so many little things that you can do just a little bit faster the next time you do it. And it is always about the little things. Yeah! Oh, knights! Do you see oh, that? Yeah. yeah, that's a super cool thing. They do that, they carry that reference over in Sonic Generations, which I thought was a nice touch. The 3DS one, just Man, to be so they clear. have a knights reference in Sonic Adventure 1 and 2. Yeah, man, this is this game was also for the Dreamcast. It was the Dreamcast last shot. <laughs> it's like the third time in a row you spin dash, just for oh, a yeah. robot to drop down in front of you. Yeah, I always know they're coming. All right, so that's going to be the end of this episode. Join us next time as we continue the story of the dark guys. Dark side. <laughs> yeah.